fell in and a lot of damage was, uh, was done to their homes and they don't have insurance and they don't have the financial means. Uh, what, what, how do we assist them uh, to rebuild and to ease the pressure and the anxiety on them, especially for our seniors and especially for low-income families who are already on the margins because of the coronavirus and so many other factors. Uh, with that being said, uh, it is my intent uh, to set up a fund uh, similar to what we did with Hurricane Harvey that will be able to assist people financially, assist them in being able to identify the uh, contractors and other nonprofit organizations that can help repair uh, their, in this, uh, their homes uh, as they move forward. I've had a conversation, for example, with Dave Lazar, who is the uh, CEO of Centerpoint, and, and he has agreed to serve as the chair, and, and we'll provide some additional details on that fund, uh, probably if not late on today, tomorrow, as we work out the details. And I've talked to several other corporate leaders, uh, well, corporate as well as other philanthropists uh, who have also agreed to contribute to this fund uh, already. But what I want to say to families, to our seniors, people in our low-income communities, people who don't have insurance, and they are wondering and questioning, you know, yes, the power is on there, yes, the water pressure is up, but my ceiling has fallen in, and my house is dam damaged, and I don't have the means. How do I, how do I move forward? We want to do everything that we can to pull together as a city uh, to help provide you with the support and the assistance to repair your homes, to repair those ceilings as we move forward. I also want to thank members of the faith-based community. I was just on a call about a, a 45 minutes ago with other faith-based leaders and community leaders and other nonprofits who are also willing to step up. This is what we do in our city. Uh, this is how we make sure that we don't leave anyone behind and that we recognize uh, that people are already under a great deal of stress and strain, and so we want to assist them. And then.